my god. I just want to get it over with. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. Fuck no. I'm telling you right now, I can't do this. Can't I'm do not this. kidding. I can't, can't do this. Take a big breath. Today we're posing with our fears. I'm afraid of spiders. I am <laughs> deathly afraid of birds. I fucking hate cockroaches. Who doesn't? I'm very, very, very fucking afraid of snakes. They have too many legs, they have too many eyes. Some of them are furry. Feathers are gross when they're wet, when they're like hopping around. They have like long ass antennas. They are like always in trash. <laughs> snakes, they're just one big muscle and I have it in my head that it'll eat my face. I don't like how they can kill you and fly away and they'll never get caught. Okay, how do they survive billions of years against like dinosaurs? Every other fucking thing died, yet cockroaches are still fucking here for some reason. If I'm walking down the street and there's a pigeon, I will cross the street to avoid it. Me and my family went on this huge hike a few years ago and I heard there was a snake from someone else and I made us turn around and go home. Cockroaches are the reason I left New York City. Not to be dramatic, but they are. One time I was carrying my laundry down the street, outside, and a fucking flying cockroach flew by, landed on my shoulder, and I was like, this is fucking it. I'm out. I'm done. I don't want they fly. This is fucked up. I guess that maybe being so up close and personal with one would maybe help me understand what they're like. I'm just hoping to be alive by the end of today. I hear you can die of fright. The only thing that's getting me through this day is that I'm going to have a fierce ass photo, and I'm going to make sure of it. My name is Isis King. I'm best known for being a two-time contestant on America's Next Top Model, and also most recently for being one of the castmates on the Oxygen show called Strut. Today, I'm going to mentor some nervous young ladies into conquering their fears in front of the camera. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Are you all excited about your photo shoot today? No. no. Why not? <laughs> I never thought that I would be able to be a real model being someone who's transgender. So that in itself, going on set and everyone knowing and you still having to do twice as good as everyone else is something to get over in itself. This is your chance to really like own it. Most people don't have the chance to face their fears in a photo shoot. You're gonna have this image forever and it's gonna be amazing because once you conquer it, you can conquer anything. I'm really excited that Isis is here because I have like no modeling ability whatsoever. How do we like not look dead inside? Well, Tyra always say smize, so I kind of took that with me. It's just bringing all the fierceness to your eyes. It's kind of like if you have a little bit of tape pulling your eyes back and you just kind of squint into it. I look crazy. No, I, I look like I'm twitching. <laughs> no, but Isis has first-hand experience on how to be put in these different modeling challenges. I'm hoping she can like lead me through some like meditation or something so that I can just cancel out everything around me. I just want to let you guys know that you're here. You all look fierce. I'm gonna rock it out. Just breathe, you know, and just breathe and go there and enjoy it because after you conquer this, you conquered your fear, so what will be holding you back? <laughs> I like, don't want to do this. Let's do this. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Jumping up and down. We can do it. Go, yeah, go, 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 yeah. go, go. <laughs> I'm Macy. I'm a staff photographer at BuzzFeed, and today I'm shooting people posing with their fears. I'm also scared of snakes and bugs. <laughs> we'll see. What happens here? My overall vision is gonna be editorial with more color. So think Vanity Fair, but with something off. Hi, my name is Steve Marin, and I am from Saving Wildlife International. We're a nonprofit wildlife conservation organization based in Southern California, and we take in displaced wild and exotic animals and use them in educational programs. I think when dealing with wild animals, it's good to have a healthy respect for the animals. But I also think within our society, animals have been vilified. We have an African pied crow, which is much like the crows you would be familiar with around North America and many parts of the world, but this guy has a beautiful white breast. A lot of misconceptions about crows and people use them in a lot of horror movies and they're, they're kind of seen as scary animals, but they're actually super, super smart, super social, and really, really cool birds. So, um, Sheridan's about to go. I can say for maybe all of us that, like, 
the fear is here. I think we got our makeup done and we have these cute outfits on, but we really fucking underestimated how actually scary this is. I mean, the minute Sheridan sat down in the chair, she immediately just started crying if she didn't even see the bird yet because mm -hmm. she knew it was coming. I just want to get it over with. Leading up to it, I was like, I can do this. And then kind of as we got closer and closer, uh, that's kind of how the nervous breakdown started. Oh my god, he's so cute. So we all have something. Your something is just birds. So. Fuck no. What I don't like about birds is if you do any like crazy movements, they'll like freak out and like flap. The sound of like birds' wings flapping haunt my nightmares. You don't have to touch him. Okay. As I realized this was actually going to happen, a bird was going to be touching me. I kind of lost my shit. Do you have a tissue? <laughs> Just know that, that he has the bird on the leash, so shouldn't fly towards you. And honestly, he seems like he's in his own little world. Eventually, we got to the point where the bird could be on the table because I realized there was just no way I could touch it. Do you mind, once he's up there, he's gonna, that, that's like a nice high place for him. Birds like to be up high, that's where they feel safe. He's either going to stay there or he's going to want to come to me. My heart was still pounding, even though I was like a few feet away from it. That's how scared I was. One, two, three. Perfect. There you go, yes. I am happy that I at least tried to get out of my comfort zone, and even though I didn't get to be to the point where I was holding the bird, I don't know, maybe it's baby steps. Perfect. They're all dying. Yay! At the end, the pictures came out great, and I think that it was definitely a good step in the right direction. Another animal from Madagascar, we have uh, Dumarel's boa constrictor, which is, I think, one of the most beautiful boa constrictors in the world. It's a snake that comes from a place that's in a lot of trouble right now. The forests in Madagascar are being cut down at a pretty alarming rate, and it's one of the reasons we really think it's important that people get to know these animals and appreciate them, because once they're gone, they're gonna be gone forever. My game plan is to honestly just look fierce and not cry. Look fierce and not cry. I walked up to the setup and we took some test shots and I was feeling really good. I didn't think I was gonna cry. And then he got the snake out and like I fucking lost it. That was just too close for comfort. Way too fucking close for comfort. When most people are afraid of snakes, it's estimated that probably less than two people a year die worldwide from constrictors. Also freaked out mine because they look different. Super, super misunderstood. Have you ever been misunderstood? Yes. Yeah, there you go. So you guys have something in common right there. <laughs> so then it took me like about 30 minutes to touch it. <laughs> oh my God. You did it. That's huge right there. He wrapped one part of the snake around my neck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, get it off me. Okay. Bring it back. I'm good. <laughs> the posing with the snake wasn't terrible. It's just moving. It's just moving. I just literally was sitting there, and I was trying to, like, stare straight at the camera and not notice that there was a snake moving on me. If I had to pose with any snakes, I'm glad it was the one that I posed with. Just because, like, I don't know, it seemed nice afterwards for a minute. We have some wide horn Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They're one of the largest species of cockroach in the world. These ones are commonly known because they make a hissing sound. Well, I found out my cockroaches hiss. That's another added horrible thing to this situation. My game plan is to, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. I'm like nervous that I'm gonna be on the shoot and like being all fashion-y and then like wanting to puke because there's a cockroach on me. Yeah, you're just thinking great. about it is freaking me yeah. out. And then he came out with the cockroaches. Oh no, I can't even look. Oh my God, no. I freaked out. I started crying and panicking, and then uh, I found out that that was actually the smallest cockroach of the three. Is that the small one? That's a small one. Okay. My worst fear was that they would like scurry. Oh, fuck. 
You're doing so well. Just do it. Oh You're my doing god, so well. I'm just gonna put my hand right there. Perfect. Get it. And this one like didn't scurry, it kinda like chilled in one spot, which is Ooh, the best that could have happened. He's not even You're doing so well. This is amazing. Yes. So the posing was uh, impossible. I didn't, I didn't do it. You're like trying to be like, oh, I'm calm and cool, but then you're like trying to look down at it to like check in on it. Yes. Oh my God, perfect. Even though it's a bug and it's a cockroach, they're actually really beautiful. Once you get to look at them, it's really a matter of perception. These are all just fucking animals, you know? Like we're the ones that are scared of them. They're not doing anything to us. So I think it was cool to come to terms with that and be like, it's just trying to chill. Chill cockroach, I don't know. Next animal is our Chilean rose hair tarantula. They don't have a whole lot of venom, although all spiders have venom. This animal has less venom than a honeybee. She'll just kind of stick on wherever we put her and it is a lot of fun. So everybody else is gone. Now I'm about to go. When I get freaked out, I just internalize stuff. So I'll probably just sit very still and just wait for it to be over. I should have said that I was afraid of like kittens. And then they like posed me and that's where I learned that they were gonna put it on my shoulder. It has free will to just like run around all over me. Here she is. Oh, okay. Is she chill? She's pretty chill. It's definitely gonna be hard to look photogenic and beautiful and model like, especially with a spider on top of me. Don't like it. <laughs> he warned me beforehand. He was like, oh, it's she's gonna like dig her little feet in. It has little tiny hooks on its feet, but that it, it tickles. That's all it is. Um, uh, you ready? You ready? I want to be able to turn my discomfort and my fear into something beautiful and striking. That's there you go. Like there you, you go. Got it. There. You're there gonna you. love this photo. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Good and I kept my cool for the most part. And then they were like, "Let's put it on your head." So Nina, <laughs> do you be comfortable with it on your head? I will allow it to be on my head if it doesn't touch my forehead skin. It doesn't feel nice. There you go. Okay. Yes. Oh god, it's just like so gross. Nina, you are amazing. And I, I survived. Everyone said my photos are good, but I think I can definitely see like the fear and like the tension in my face. I definitely feel proud of myself for like being brave. I allowed it to happen and I survived and I didn't freak out so much. Perfect. Woo! I honestly think everyone did really well. I think we're being a little hard on ourselves. Bare bones modeling, really hard. Modeling with your phobia, nearly impossible. But yet, like, I got one pick. I am excited to see my photos. I hope that they look cool and fierce. For now, I'm just, like, so happy it's over. I think when we come back and look at these pictures, we'll be like, oh, that's why we did this. All in all, they all did an amazing job. I can't wait to see which shot is chosen for each one of the girls and present it back to them. Hi guys. Hi. Hey. Welcome back. How is everybody feeling? Ooh. Nervous. Aww. Traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I think you ladies conquer what you came here to conquer. And I think that you ladies, when you see it, you'll be pleasantly surprised that you did it. <laughs> sure, and you shot with the crow. How do you think your picture came out? I don't know, I'm just hoping that there are no tears in it. Well, Sheridan, it's time to see your best shot. Oh my Ooh. god! Oh. Holy shit! Dude, you look hot! You look Thanks. regal as fuck. Yeah, Honestly, so even though you're not touching it, you look like you own the bird. I thought the picture turned out pretty okay. Like I was in control of the situation when that bird was the one that was in fucking control and it could smell my fear. You should be proud of yourself because this is a work of art. Yay! Jazz, you shot with that beautiful snake. How was it for you? I was terrified, but um, I will say afterwards, I went into the restroom and there was a cricket jumping around and I was not afraid of that cricket since I just was afraid of that snake. I'm conquering fears left yeah. and right. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, oh I can't look at the snake. You look so oh. My first thoughts when I saw my photo was like, holy shit, like, I couldn't believe that snake is literally on me. The hair, the jacket, everything just really comes together amazingly. It was literally just like a fear that I've had for forever, and I know that I can overcome that, and with the help of everybody around me, I did. Beautiful shot. Thank you. Oh, so, so next, 
have Chrissy, shot with a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I think you did a great job when you breathe in and, and gay face. So look at your best shot. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh! Oh my you gosh. look so cute! It's crazy to think that I had a fucking hissing cockroach on me and I was like laughing about it like ha 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 in the photo. Part of being a model is being an actress. And a big part of being an actress is forgetting everything that's going on around you and giving the emotion that you want to be shown. You are a great model because of that. Going forward, I should be more mindful about animals that people kind of villainize in the media and people kind of villainize as just animals that exist. I feel better about it now that I've, I've stepped away from it and looked back on it to be like, wow, this is super cool that I, I overcame that fear. So Nina, mm -hmm. you also had the one that was actually on your skin, like it was on your head. It touched me. It was on you <laughs> and you handle it like a champ. I'm a bit nervous to see what it actually turned out like because I think I just blacked out for the whole thing. Look how beautiful you are in this beauty shot. <gasps> Nina! Oh that is gorgeous. <laughs> this is insane. I think that it turned out really well. Like, we were a good team, I think. Me and the tarantula. You look like you're waiting for your husband to come home so you can kill him. <laughs> Being that up close and personal and realizing that it's, I guess, like, not that bad made me feel like I can conquer anything. Now these ladies can go back and look at the shot and remember that they can conquer any fear they have in life and look fierce while they're doing it. Give me a hug. Yes! <laughs> Unfortunately, this is an elimination. <laughs> One of you all are not in the running to be America's next top BuzzFeed model. Is it the cockroach? <laughs>